Hello friends, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In previous video tutorial, we have learned what is proxy design pattern and how we can implement it in Java, right? In this video tutorial, we'll see proxy design pattern uh, used in JDK and some of the Java framework. Yeah. So first of all, we'll see uh, within the JDK, uh, we have a package is called java.lang.reflect and there is a class is called proxy, right? So if you look into the JDK, uh, if you press Control Shift and just try to search for proxy, then this uh, this is the proxy class. And if you look into the documentation, right? So this proxy provides static methods for creating dynamic proxy classes and instances, right? And it also the super class of all the dynamic proxy classes created by those methods and uh, how to create a proxy for some interfaces right so this is the steps they have given right so first of all you have to create a invocation handler uh, with any name so here uh, let's say if you, your invocation handler name is my invocation handler so we will have to create this class and that will implement this method and this method is having a invoke method that method you will have to override right now in that way we can get the handler afterwards proxy is having method is called get proxy class there you can pass your class name right for that you want to create a proxy and in that way we will get the proxy class reference and afterwards you will have to call the get constructor and there you are passing invocation handler dot class right this class and uh, you call the new instance method and pass this handler right in that way you get the proxy instance right so this class belongs to the java.lang.reflect package right so this is the one of the beautiful example within jdk apart from that there are some framework like uh, rmi ejb and uh, jpa there we are using or uh, we have we use a uh, proxy design pattern basically we do not use it because you, because this framework uses uh, this proxy design pattern in rmi ejb basically these are this basically uh, creates a lot of stub or a uh, proxy object right uh, to avoid the uh, basically network call right and uh, you know, again in uh, basically in jpa uh, persistence context that uses a proxy design pattern so that's all i have in this video tutorial i hope you enjoy learning this video guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial